As 2022 comes to a close, we recently spent most of December in the Sierra Mountains. With extraordinary snowfall, the season has certainly been off to an incredible start. After working our way back to Utah, we enjoy our home mountain of Park City and get some tips from Papa Joe. Not sure if I'm onto something here or not, but I made some oatmeal with Reese's Pieces. It makes oatmeal a lot easier to eat in the morning. Good morning, of season three. Um, today's another interesting day. Not really interesting, every day's interesting, but I'm out here at Park City Mountain Resort again. And the plan today is to ski Jupiter. I skied Jupiter yesterday, however, it was a little different feel because the rope dropped and I basically was had like 90 minutes to ski, so I kind of just went in search for the best snow. But today I want to give a little bit more of like a full day at Jupiter, ski some of the other runs, Scott's Bowl, Portuguese Gap, Six Bells, all the other good stuff up there, potentially hike the peak um, to Jupiter and all that sort of stuff. So I also believe I might be linking up with Papa Joe, so that always makes for a fun, uh, fun day on the hill as well. But I'm already running super late, super behind, so let me get this whole thing kind of wrapped up and get on the mount. So if you guys watched yesterday's video, my GoPro backpack like temporarily kind of broke. I'm not saying it's not fixable, but I need to use another backpack. So I'm taking out one of my old Dakin um, Rastafarian backpack from Momentum Ski Camp when I used to go up there in the summer for bump camp. This thing's also pretty shot. There's no like tabs on it. Just have like zip ties, but it's actually a really nice backpack that's held up quite nicely. This thing's literally, how old am I? This thing's probably 15 years old. So uh, gonna be ripping this guy today. Stoked. I kind of wanted to use my, oh, my 106s today to get a feel for those in, uh, you know, jupe, like terrain like Jupiter, but I jokingly told Joe, I don't ski with people who have less than 115 underfoot skis. So I feel like I'd be hypocritical if I showed up with a 106 because um, he typically rides a 110. So, looks like the Stoke Elks it is. Joe, he's gonna do a shifty. Call that. We were just in here yesterday. <laughs> but it's too good not to do again. We're gonna go a little bit uh, tighter here. My boots are loose, but you know what? Sometimes. Because you can open up in here. And right in here is where the secret sauce is that no one really goes in. And you get shots like this, and then you come down it, and you're just, you're in it. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, I was blind again. We were blind, but we made it. All right. Not the best first run. Got a little carried away. Got to tighten the boots down. Oh wait, they are tight. That's embarrassing. You kind of narrow, kind of just, whoa. Enough room. Definitely better when it's fresh. Let's check out Joe. My 
can tell you didn't A-frame. How was my A-frame? Not at all. It was very good. I definitely had an A-frame. Slide down the hill, baby. Set the edge and then go. <laughs> kind of like what I was showing you on the flats. Don't try to go across so far. It's just kind of a, a side slide. Yup, and then go. Set the edge and reach and go. Now slide, yeah, there you go, now go. You don't have an A-frame because you don't know how to turn. You have great downhill pressure because the thing is, is I see you coil over your downhill ski and then you can jump. So what I don't want you to do is don't forget, this is what the A-frame is what I'm talking about. You're on the downhill ski, but look where my uphill ski is. That's what they see in the video. So you want to be able to remember, there's no weight on that. So just tuck the heel in like you did and kind of stack over this foot. Yeah. Okay, so it's realistically, it's honestly just, even here as treacherous as kind of as this is, watch well, what I'm talking about. I'm sliding, I have no weight on the uphill ski, and I'm down, and I'm sliding, and then I'm down again. <laughs> Tiff said, Joe, you can't, okay. yeah. You can't ski with Joe without getting lessons. You really can't be out on a ski day, especially up at Jupe, and you don't get you don't get a few pointers or lessons from Papa Joe, especially uh, it is uh, Andrea's first day of the year. So, you know, she's on new skis. Like I said, she's on the, she's on a 115 K2, which is a pretty sweet ski with the uh, Solomon STH 13 binding, which is honestly a pretty dope setup, but going to a bigger ski like that can always kind of be, uh, be a big adjustment especially if you don't have like crazy deep snow i've gotten asked if joe was like a pro skier or something and he he was not i think he always dreamed he always dreamed to be a pro mogul skier but he skied with the park city mogul team i want to say for at least the last 10 years it might even be more than that he constantly works with world cup athletes olympians even he goes to ski camps in the summer does the water ramp in the summer like uh, he is very in tune when it comes to like technique and like how to turn like Joe is <laughs> Joe's very on it so uh, he continually teaches me because when you make a turn again I'm not I'm just an aspiring youtuber you know who likes to ski so don't take anything that I say uh, seriously but uh, when you make a turn all your weight is supposed to be on your downhill leg you know so you in theory you should be able to literally pick up your uphill or your inside leg and so to kind of eliminate the A-frame or to just clean up your your turn, what he says that like the mogul team tells him to do is quite literally just move that foot, that heel, right next to like your other foot in, a, in essence. I'm still a little bit confused, but uh, because there's no weight on that ski, you should be able to kind of maneuver it throughout the turn uh, the way you need to, no matter what type of terrain, terrain you're on. So Joe's always been a, a huge teacher uh, in my ski career. I mean, ever since I was four years old, you know, right up till now, he still he still refines my sort of my sort of skiing, um, stuff like that. So look how high that chair is. Imagine if you had to download, dude. I would literally freak out. pulled out or did it break no it snapped it off no i think it pulled out okay all right so i think i know i think <laughs> i think it happened yeah that first right right in that clump i hit a tree not like hit hit a tree but i went through a tree and <laughs> my pole just like disintegrated luckily andre's still up there let's see if she can find it <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I'm going to jump off to the right a little bit. All right. Three, two, one. Dropping.
That's a fun other run. What's up, dude? What's what your you name? What you been doing? I'm Brooks. Brooks, nice to meet you, man. Good job, mother. <laughs> Are you me? I'm sorry, I didn't realize it's so tight in here. You okay? Yeah. That's how people crash into trees. Yeah. Doing this whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how people get stuck in tree wells. Really? Yeah, because you could have just crashed there, there's a tree well, you, you suffocate, no one's here, you're dead in seven minutes. Let's let's go go straight and it gets it opens up here. So you don't so come this way. Come all the way out this way, Mom. So now just go down. There you go. With this, you don't want to do, and you're not. You're doing this. Yeah, but that's the A-frame right there. What's that? This, this is an A-frame. No, no, but that's only because I'm standing on the, I'm standing so I can't help that. Right, you got to bring but, that, yeah, that's. That. But you, you, you will do that on the hill because you're able, but, but this, it's even worse when you're, when it's like this, okay? But the A-frame, like what I'm saying to you is because we have so much stack over the downhill ski, you can do whatever you want with your uphill. You're just, you just, before now, you wouldn't have to think about it. Okay. So to look pretty, they just, oh my gosh. What? They saw you and they're like, look, look, look. Oh, oh, oh. You just, you just, also the only thing I'm saying to you is you can't get out of the A-frame if you're here. Yeah. you don't have enough downhill stack. Yeah, yeah. But you're not, you're here. No, I feel like I'm really on the downhill What's ski. That? I feel like I'm always no, on the you downhill. Are. I, I, you don't have to tell me, I can tell by looking. So you're here. All I want you to do, and so they do, and this is what I was telling you what I'm saying, is I bring my heel over like that, okay? And now you're out of the A-frame, okay? Because there's no weight on this foot. So you don't have any pressure on that edge like that. I mean, like it's that. 90, 10, 80, yeah. 20, okay? It's just enough that when you're here, the place where it becomes with with those quick turns is now I'm going to make a left turn, which you do well too. Now we're going to roll here on our uphill, so it's our now it becomes our outside ski, but it was our uphill ski. And as you're transitioning around, now you have to start to do that. Okay. Yeah.